He's too strong. I can't hold him. Today. today we've traveled up to the small town of Montevallo to check out Tinglewood Carvings. In 1993, a retired coal miner named Tim Tingle came through after these trees were damaged by storms and all throughout this part carved different designs in the sides of these trees. The park is surrounded by this creek that travels all the way around the distance of the park. Oh, here's one shaped like a bird with those intricate designs in the beak. Man, this is a good one. There's an Indian with his hand up in the air. I particularly like this one, this rifle, the helmet on the top it, sticking out of the boots. And on the front of it, it here, it says, live free. Here's Merlin, the wizard. And one in this damaged tree here. You, you can see the leaves, the time he spent carving out these leaves. The sunflower. There's a little tiki man standing there. This one is awesome and it is very intricate. This is the dragon. To carve individual scales on the back side of this dragon. Here's a gnome carved out here. He's missing a foot. You can even see his tongue sticking out here. Of the Easter Island heads carved out of this one. periodically spaced out in different areas they have these rock stairs so you can go down to the creek I guess when it's hot you can go swimming it's a little bit cooler today than it has been over the past few days though lions and tigers and bears oh my mr. Tingle spent a lot of time carving these trees the details on them are crazy he's pretty spectacular an alligator or a lizard, some kind of reptilian. And in front of it is a snake. Again, he took the time to carve out all of these scales. I don't know if that's completed yet or not. They've taken a light and affixed it into the tree. He's not happy about something. Somebody made him mad. Been to the side of this one. And he even carved two into the side of that tree. He's got a pretty awesome mustache rock in there. And he even added a hand down here. Somebody called the swamp people. Found them an alligator they can catch. Shoot them, Liz. Shoot them. This park is Or Park in Montevallo, and it doesn't just have the trees with the carvings in it. It has picnic tables, gazebos, there's sporting fields, soccer and baseball and football. There's playgrounds, walking trails. It, th there's a lot to do here at this park. There's a nice mural here on the wall of this building sure what this building is or was used for it's 
kind of high up there. You really can't get into it without some kind of something to step on. This guy is pretty happy. He's even missing a tooth. This one here, there's an American bald eagle and a turtle, some flowers. There's a snake, a ram, some more flowers, a frog. The front of his face is broken off there. Mushroom and some rabbits. This guy has had too many of those mushrooms. of a woman there's a child she's got a basket there's a squirrel on her shoulder she has a basket on the back of her there's another kid an owl some birds a pumpkin there's an ear of corn this kid here is sucking her thumb. Left his mark right here. This is their playground for this park right here. It's a pretty nice playground. I think you need a haircut. And here's one more guy in the tree. Dave Hughes? I don't know, this one's pretty awesome. His first off, his beard and his mustache look really cool, but the way they cut the hole there for his mouth is awesome. What this animal is, I say it's an alpaca or a llama. What do you think? I think probably my favorite one here is this one. It's a unicorn. He's eating a snake. There's his horn. You can see his teeth chomping down on a delicious reptilian snack. They have taken the time to even build a magnificent looking waterfall fountain and got this brick pathway right it looks like it's a little unstable over there and at the top of this of this waterfall they even included another alligator This is Bib Furnace. It's a pretty amazing structure. This furnace was used to provide the iron that was needed for the Confederate soldiers. It provided, according to the caretaker, this furnace provided iron for their battleships and their the weapons, the Confederate weapons from this era. So Basically, this was an iron factory. Similar to the iron factory we saw yesterday, the Sloss factory, but this one would have been used during the Civil War. We had fun here at Orr Park seeing the Tinglewood carvings and they were actually, the Tinglewood carvings are actually on one of the top 40 places to visit in the state of Alabama. We've made it back home from Montevallo and I'm not feeling too well so I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. 
I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you tomorrow.